You're watching KYMA, where news comes first. This is News 11 Nightside. Monsoon season arrives in the desert southwest with a bang. A thunderstorm brings lightning, thunder, high winds, and heavy rain to the Yuma area. Streets are flooded, power lines are down, and nerves are rattled. Tonight, News 11 tells you everything you need to know to deal with this wicked weather. Thank you for joining us. I'm Luis Cruz. Rob Fram has the night off. And I'm Michelle Velez. From Summerton to the foothills, Yuma County is dealing with storm damage. We'll get to uh, some amazing video in just a minute. But first, Rachel Elzefon begins our Storm Watch team coverage with a look at the current conditions. Rachel? Luis Michelle, that's right. And we actually just now are finishing a flood advisory. But of course, we want everyone to stay careful if you are driving because there's still going to be some rising waters out there. We want to take a look right now. It's 93 degrees outside, nice and moist out there as well. Those winds kicking up at 14 miles per hour. That's something else that's coming with these storms are the wind conditions. Once again, it is muggy outside and just barely starting to clear up in Yuma. In the Imperial Valley, 96 degrees right now, 33% humidity. Those winds at 9 miles per hour, so actually not too bad in the Imperial Valley. Those winds, though, are expected to kick up later tonight. Now, we want to take a look at our local satellite radar. I'm going to step out of the way so you can look at it. You can see a lot of green, a lot of red. That's what we were experiencing during the heaviest part of the storms. Now, this is what it looks like right now. This is the finishing picture. You can see we still have a lot of cloud cover, especially to the east of us. And right over Yuma, still some precipitation going on. And heading towards the Imperial Valley, we do have green, we do have some rain, and they do have a 20% chance of thunderstorms tonight. They do they can expect to see some precipitation. The big thing, however, that the Imperial Valley can expect to see is lots and lots of wind. I know that the Imperial Valley has already seen that. They had a very significant dust storm warning earlier. It just ended about an hour ago. And once again, we want to visit that flood advisory. It is wrapping up right now, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be careful. We want to remind everyone in Yuma and southeastern Imperial counties, there is a flood advisory for urban and small stream flooding. And this, of course, means do not drive into areas where water covers the roadway. And I'm sure you just saw that video. And there is water on the roads. Now, the majority of flood deaths happen if somebody drives into the water. So once again, we cannot urge this too many times. Please be safe when you're driving. And of course, we will check in with, in a little bit with more weather details and what you can expect for tomorrow if more rain is on the way. Until then, Luis Michelle, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Rachel. Well, this evening, storm wreaked havoc literally in other areas of Yuma County, causing some extensive damage to people's property. News 11's John Archuleta joins us now to show us some of the images and video our viewers have been sending. John, what damage are we seeing so far? Well, Luis Michelle, we've had reports of flying debris down power lines and a tree even fell on top of one woman's vehicle. Take a look at this video shot by our photographers. As you can see, this tree was completely uprooted from those strong gusts earlier and just slammed into the woman's car. There were also several power lines near her house that toppled over and there was some damage to her fence as well. Now, the woman was visibly shaken, as you can imagine, and says she says the storm caught her family by surprise. We were inside, we were watching TV, and then all of a sudden the door opened and it started like raining so fast. And we were all scared. My mom, she was like, oh, my stuff, my stuff. And we were just, my mom just said to close the door and just to lay in the bed and just hear nothing. And then the lights went off, so we got more even scared. It was tough. It just happened out of nowhere. We were watching TV, no news, no nothing. We we're out of, out of a sudden, everything like, I don't know. In half an hour, everything was gone. And we're certainly glad they're all right. Now, here is some more images sent to us of hail by Nanjia Osborne. She also shot video of her kids having a ball in the downpour of rain that we experienced earlier. As you can see right there, they're just having a blast out there. Something we don't get here in the desert southwest, rain. Now, this shed belongs to our photographer, Mike Ravellis, and his family. It was completely destroyed among his sidewalk. And as you can see, trees were uprooted there as well. Now, there were also some street signs knocked down in parts of town. 
Um, as you can see right there, they just completely flipped over. Some were turned over. So a lot of the streets, uh, the signs on there, the streets were just completely messed up. And right there is the Fry's parking lot on 24th Street. It was completely flooded. So this is just some of the damage we've seen so far. And if you have any pictures or video of damage in your area, feel free to email those to us at news at kyma.com. Again, that's news at kyma.com. But hopefully we won't see anything too serious and everyone is safe. Now back to you. All right. Thank you very much, John. This storm has left thousands of people in the dark. Arizona Public Service tells News 11 as of 930, they had more than 14,000 customers without electricity. The outages are all spread out across Yuma County. APS tells us they are so numerous and widespread at this point, it cannot provide specifics on neighborhoods. Right now, crews are out in full force assessing the damage and making repairs. And at this point, we have only one confirmed report of a school closure. The principal of Immaculate Conception tells us the school has sustained storm damage. Trees are down and the power is out. So classes will be canceled at IC tomorrow. No other school, no other schools, I should say, have called us to inform us of school closures. We will continue to monitor the situation and update you as we get more information.